I witnessed the most amazing thing the other day, and he didn't even know I was paying attention. The Muslim men called to order because there was a crisis between two brothers. They sat down with him and did a mediation and resolved the issues. We can't ask of our children to do that which we can't do. We need to be able to come together to resolve our issues. We talk about the gun violence, but we talk about it from on high. I ain't never held no gun. Well, actually, I know I'm lying to you. I did. I was a child. I was at, when I was at the DA's office, they gave me a gun. I fell backwards. I said, oh, that's enough of that. And then I had this scar on my thing, the little groove. I'm like, y'all got that. AK-47s are dangerous things. I don't know why anybody wants to touch that. That hurt. I'm too cute for that. Might break a nail. But I'm just saying, if you're wanting to tell these kids to get the guns out of their hands, you need to have them have access to some people that had some guns in their hands. Some people who know why they had guns in their hands. So people who understood the hopelessness that put guns in their hands. The answer is not come talk to Danielle Patterson because she a, a bastion of hope and, and dignity. That's what you do next. You need to put some people there who've been working one-on-one -on -one at the grassroots level of the streets. And that's what I propose. We need to empower our local agencies, those people who've already been getting it done, to go out there and keep it done. We need to make sure that they are front and center and visible. We need to fund those organizations. When we're looking at our state budget, we need to look at those organizations when we talk about gun safety and gun violence.